And this is my second Green Day tutorial. Awesome, punky, powerful music up in this. Anyway, I'm Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on my little uh, bass tutorials I have right down there. Uh, they're not on YouTube, but they're in the YouTube clicker box right down there. Click that. It's free. Um, other than that, let's uh, roll right up into some Green Day, yo. All right, so for this one, you are going to uh, tune down a half step. All your strings tune down a half step. What I do here is um, I do a, uh, a little uh, hammer on between, uh, you're going to hit the uh, open A and then hammer on to the um, seventh fret of the A string. And then you're going to go, so hammer on meaning I'm not actually plucking that second note there, the seventh fret. I'm, I'm plucking the, or playing, playing the pick, picking the A, and then this finger comes down there and makes that noise all itself without a pluck, see? Just like that. And then you're going to hit on the D string, 9, 7, and then 6. Right? Sound familiar? And then you're going to hit the 7th fret again of the A string, but then go down to the 5th fret. See? It's just like that. Seven and then five. So what that is, I just played right there. That is, you're on the seventh fret of the D, going to the sixth fret, and then the fifth fret of the A. So uh, probably going a little bit fast here. So all together, slower. Right, just like that, very melodic. You're going to hit the 4th fret right here of the D string, followed by the 7th um, fret of the A string. Right. And then you're going to go up to the 9th fret of the uh, D string, and you're going to hit the 9th, right, the 7th, and then the 6th. Just like that. So all together. Nine, seven, six. Right? And then you're going to do something interesting. You're going to play some chords. And these are very simple. You're actually going to um, play the open D. Right? <clears throat> and layered over that, you're going to be hitting the ninth fret of the uh, G, the seventh fret, the sixth fret, and then the seventh. So without the open G note, it would just be, and you can play it like that if you feel like it, but I believe what he's doing is playing the open, uh, the open D when you play those notes on the G, so it sounds like this. Just like that. So I'll play it all together pretty slow. interesting to do and fun is instead of just playing that straight like that slide up into it so what you're doing is instead of hitting just plain the ninth fret of the, of the open D you're gonna slide on that uh, on that G string slide on that G string that's funny just like that so the uh, next part you're going to hear there is a little like uh, crescendo, something like that. Um, and uh, what that is is you're just droning on the um, fifth fret of the A string. Right? You can think of it like uh, 12 hits uh, for a little triplet. So what you're doing there is you're hitting one hit on the 7th fret of your E string, 
And then you're doing this series of hammer-ons. Um, I play, yeah, one hit on the seventh, and then you're gonna hit open, and then hammer on to that seventh fret. So it makes this effect. Right, so one normal hit, and you're gonna hit open, hammer on, open, hammer on, open, hammer on. Totally, that is. Right, you're gonna do one hit, and then three with the hammer-ons. And then you're gonna move to the fifth fret and do two of the hammer-ons on the fifth fret. Right? And the way I play this is that I do one hammer-on there, and then two normal hits. Right, it comes out pretty powerful. Just like this. Just like that. So the last part of the chorus, you're going to hit the uh, hammer-ons on the fifth fret four times instead of just twice. So you're going to kind of hold on there and build a little bit, bit of drama. And then he does this sweet little riff with some more chords. And what that is there is he's hitting the open D, not the open A. It seems like you want to hit the open D, but... Uh, open A, but it's actually the open D, right? And then the seventh fret of the A string, just like that. And then you're going to be hitting the ninth fret of the G, the octave, right? What that is there is you're going to be hitting the seventh fret of the um, D string. So, so far. And then you hit that again and then hammer on to the ninth fret of the D string. So I'll do it real slow. And then you go 9th fret of the G, 9th fret of the D. So I'll go slow. Just like that. And then you do these chords, similar to the other chords that we played. What you're doing there is you're hitting, again, staying with the uh, theme of the open D. But then you're going to also be plucking uh, on the G, uh, 7, 6, right? And then 4 and 2. This is one of those times when um, uh, the chord you're playing sounds very dissonant. Maybe just sitting here, huh, listening to it. But when it's with the other instruments and you're playing it fast, it actually sounds really good. Um, remember, use some kind of muting technique when you're playing those chords so that all these other chords don't ring out too. So like what I do is, since I'm using my, I'm plucking and I'm using my fingers and I use the floating thumb technique, you put that right on there, floating thumb, and then you can play whatever you want on those chords and you're not going to hear these two strings uh, buzzing out because you've got your thumb on them. They can't say a thing. You're smothering them. Homiciding them. So in the Bridges song, when he's singing um, I've Got No Moderation, uh, he just basically varies the theme that he's been playing a little bit. You're going to start on the 7th fret of the A string, and then you're going to play the octave, the 9th fret of the G string, right, and then the 9th fret of the D. And then you're going to play the 7th uh, fret of the D string, followed by the 6th fret. Right? Do that slow. And then you're going to go to the 5th uh, fret of the A string, 4th fret of the A string, 7th fret of the E, and then 5th of the E. Alright, so all together. Just like that. Alright! Slicing some Green Day out there to you. I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please, I have some uh, tutorial uh, tutorials that are not on YouTube at all. They're right down in that YouTube clicker box right down there. So if you want to click on that and get those, you can. And they will benefit you. Uh, also, you could always uh, subscribe to Finbar Bass right up there if you feel like getting more of these tutorials on YouTube. Other than that, have fun with that one.